time to do an update. I haven't done one for quite some time. We got a little bit of snow and some ice. It's been pretty cold. This is a pre, I guess it's a pre-winter storm here in Montana. But things are uh, thawing out. It's warming up a little bit. At least during the day. It's still getting pretty cold at night. And yeah, we've got some animals walking through our dry our yard I'm gonna take you up and show you what the road looks like it's well it's a four-wheel drive road it's a challenge to get out of the driveway without four-wheel drive but things are dripping off the trees all the snow is coming down We got a car coming. But anyhow, yeah, it laid over a lot of the trees. The snow we had is uh, very, very wet snow, sticky, it stuck to all the trees. So it's kind of slowly coming down as it thaws, as the sun comes out. Yeah, it's a good 8, 10, 12 inches. A lot of it melted, but this trailer is pretty much full. And these 2 by 8s it's 7.5 inches to the side here. So, but anyhow, I took the side by side to go get the mail the other day. That was the day I did the short. And it really got dirty. It threw a lot of mud up. This thing's got a wider suspension on it and the tires kind of hang out away from the body and the fenders aren't very good. And it tends to throw a lot of debris. I'm glad I put, I put a windshield in it and a back glass and these doors kind of protect myself, but it's still a chilly ride going down there. I do got to be dressed for it. The front of the rig didn't get very dirty at all. But the sides and the back got quite quite a bit of dirt thrown on it. But yeah, I've got about, I don't know, 140 or 150 miles on it and it's performing pretty well. Also picked up a set of chains for the tractor. I went down to uh, Goodwill, the local Goodwill, and they had some chains in a bag that there was no label on it. it didn't say what size, but they were asking twelve dollars for them. So I <clears throat> took the gamble and bought them because I thought they'd work well with this tractor. They've got their the diamond shape, so they give way better traction in the in this ice and lo and behold they fit perfectly so that gamble paid off I just hope they hold up I don't know they're they're kind of small the chains links are kind of small and I think if I get abusing them too much they may fail but anyhow this is the, the garage I got the fire going and the pellet stove if it's still going. It tends to shut off on its own. It's showing a cage. But anyhow, yeah, I got it up to 60 degrees in here. I don't know if you can see the, the temp, but, but yeah, the tire change. I did plow a little bit the other day. And uh, they seem to work really good, except this doggone snow is so heavy, it plugged up the box blade, it plugged up the, the, bu the bucket, and I had to dig it all out with a shovel. It just, it's too wet and it packed. So, my snow plowing was kind of minimal. I got the big truck in here to keep it warm and dry so I can take it out whenever it needs to go. 
we've been playing with the the planer here trying to see if it works I have a project earmarked for that but yeah I'm sorry I haven't done any updates for a while I've been kind of under the weather I went through a I had a shoulder surgery in May and I've been recouping all summer so I haven't been doing too much I did do the side-by-side -side. I did rebuild the motor in it and got it up and running but that was the biggest project I did all summer